Hello, Paul is the for UK here and welcome to today's game, the day video. Now today's game is Soul Calibur, Soul Blade sequel. So yeah, as you can see, I'll need, I still need to uh, free some space on my VMU unit, but uh, yeah, let's start the game. So we won't save on the game today. Namco. Namco. So yeah, we got the uh, full motion video uh, introduction coming into play now. But we're just going to get straight into the game because that's what game of day is all about. Okay, so we've got a lot of new things here. Let's have a look at the options. Game options. Uh, we got easy, medium, or hard, or very hard. I'll have easy because I'm crap. And uh, yeah, okay, so yeah, let's uh, come out of this. And uh, yeah, well, just basic options really. And uh, I can't save it because, like it said earlier, about the uh, VMU storage space. But uh, let's go into arcade. Now this is a beat em up, two, one on one beat em up uh, in the style of Tekken, Streets of Rage, sorry not Streets of Rage, Street Fighter 2 shall I say, etc. So uh, yeah, I'll be, uh, who shall I be, let's have a look, I shall be, I shall be Sophita, as she looks very nice. Okay, so I'm sure she's a uh, bit of a warrior here on this fighting game. So uh, yeah, let's have a look at this one. So I'm against Ivy on stage one. Versus Ivy. <laughs> Battle one. Fight. Now as you can see, this is a like I said a one-on-one -on -one beating up. We've actually got like a weapon, like a sword and a shield and stuff. So yeah, I'm playing against a computer on very easy mode, uh, sorry, easy mode on this, and yeah, the graphics are stunning, uh, proper arcade, uh, rich in detail, uh, 3D uh, environments. What Nanko does best, well, one of its genres it does best. I'm not sure if this was an arcade machine or not, it does have a very arcade-ness to it. So she does a pose, so I've won the first level. Okay, so on to battle two. Have some of these. Oh, you fuck. Have some of these. Well, okay, I'm gonna get him. I'm not sure if you can knock him off the edge on this one. Yeah, you can. Oh, I nearly went off the edge myself. This victory strengthened the soul of Sophia. Strengthens the soul of Sophia. You win. Right, okay, so we should go on to the next level now. The, uh, there's a bit of a pause while the next level is loaded in from the disc. So I'm just turn on against Maxi. Wow, look at them stunning graphics. Graphics are superb on this game. You can see like the uh, rich 3D background, like, in, like sort of like a Aztec style of ruins. Well, maybe not ruins, but and yeah, the, the graphics are amazing on this. Uh, no blockiness or anything, no pixelization, just perfect, pure, and amazing graphics. This is what the Dreamcast did best: the uh, graphics. Uh, it was a very powerful system for the time. It's a shame it didn't do better than it did because it would have been an excellent choice for gamers. And to anyone who hasn't played Dreamcast before, I urge that you do it because it's an absolutely stunning machine. The control pad on the Dreamcast is excellent as well. Well, well laid out, well designed. Buttons feel fantastic, and the log stick is good. Absolutely. Yes. So yeah, I'm, just get him. I'm doing really well here, probably because I've got it on easy mode. It's actually a fighting game where easy mode is actually easy, where some games you, you find that if, even if you choose easy, it's still pretty hard. Like uh, Mortal Kombat seems to spring to mind on that. So uh, yep, yeah. okay, let's go on to level three. So we're on to uh, Valdo now. He's like got horns by the looks of him, plus part of his costume. Oh, so in a spooky cave here. You can see like the rodents and stuff on the floor, that adds to the uh, atmosphere of the game. Each level has got different music and uh, yeah, really good game. So yeah, that's a quick look at... Uh, oh shit, I fell out myself. <laughs> so that's a quick look at uh, Soul Calibur on the Sega Dreamcast. I'm going to give this one a massive 
10 out of 10. Absolutely superb. Can't fault it. One of the best fighting games I've ever played, actually. And it's a credit to its prequel, Soul Blade, on the PlayStation or other formats. So, uh, yeah, thank you for watching. Have a good Friday evening. Thank you for watching.